Hey y'all, it's Megs. Today we're going to go over 17 of the messiest and most drama-filled moments in Real Housewife history. Monique and the Binder. Monique Samuels literally whipped out a binder full of receipts in the Season 5 Real Housewives of Potomac reunion to prove just how shady and rude Giselle Bryant had supposedly been to Monique when the cameras weren't rolling. This is the level of pettiness we love to see on the Real Housewives. Candace and the Knife. There is no denying the fights on Housewives are always catty, but something I did not see coming was the infamous butter knife scene between Candace and Ashley in Season 4 on Real Housewives of Potomac. At a dinner party, Ashley and Candace had a heated conversation about what Candace has been saying to other women. The two began arguing and Candace pulls out a butter knife and puts it in Ashley's face before literally tossing it at her. The best part of the whole thing was the name of the episode, Sex, Lies, and Butter Knives. Bethany came to Luann with bad news. The It's About Tom drama is definitely one of the more iconic moments from Real Housewives of New York. The storyline of Season 8 mainly consisted of talk about Luann's soon-to-be husband at the time, Tom, and him cheating on her. One very drama-filled moment that I personally think was one of the best of the season was when Bethany told Luann about Tom kissing women, yes, plural, at the Regency Hotel. She said she got a text message from a friend who claims she has evidence. Bethany broke the news to Leanne by saying what has now become a famous line in Real Housewives of New York history. It's about Tom. What made the moment even more dramatic was the group was in Palm Beach, Florida, celebrating Lou's upcoming wedding. Talk about irony. Dorinda Medley coined her own catchphrase. The thing about Dorinda is that when she gets going and is fighting with someone, you either want to flee the scene because you don't know what will come out of her mouth, or you want to sit down and watch in amazement. The iconic Dorinda clip moment happened when the group was out to eat at an Italian restaurant in the Bronx. While at the table, Sonia Morgan accused Dorinda of being involved with her liquor brand, Tipsy Girl. Dorinda denied it, but Sonia proceeded to show texts from Dorinda's boyfriend, John, expressing an interest. While Sonia continued to accuse Dorinda, she threw some low blows by saying, You effed your way to the middle and you keep effing your way to the middle. You're bankrupt. I have your papers and you're a fraud. Dorinda followed that up with what would become her most famous line of all time. Clip, clip, she yelled along with a hand motion to quiet her. Lisa Renna threw wine on Kim Richards before smashing the wine glass on the table. Whenever the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills women go on a trip, shit is bound to go down. Like the time the ladies went to Amsterdam and what was supposed to be a civilized dinner turned into a wine-throwing and glass-smashing field night. It went like this. Lisa Renner was talking about her thoughts on people dying from alcohol and drug misuse. As Lisa tried apologizing to Kim Richards about getting into her business, Kim snapped back and accused Lisa of bad-mouthing her. She then said to Lisa, I'm concerned about you and your situation at home. You want to bring out my stuff? Let's talk about your home life. Let's talk about the husband, she said, referring to Lisa's husband, Harry Hamlin. Let's not talk about what you don't want out. Suddenly, Lisa stood up and threw her remaining wine at Kim before angrily smashing it on the table's edge, screaming, you never go near my husband. Don't you effing understand that? You never go after my effing husband. No words for this one, but I'm sure we all remember it. Everyone found out that Brooke Ayers was faking cancer all along. Anyone forget about Vicky's ex-boyfriend, Brooke Ayers, faking having cancer in season 10 of the show. In case you're not familiar or need a refresher, Brooks claimed for an entire season that he was suffering from non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Clearly, Brooks put a lot of thought into this scheme because he had everything from fake hospital bills to having Vicky drop him off to get chemo. He was there all morning, so how do you think anything other than he's getting chemo? You go to City of Hope because you have cancer, not because you have nothing else to do during the day, she told Extra. Megan King Edmonds ended up being the one who exposed Brooks for lying about it all. Only on a Housewives does this happen. Sheree Whitfield gave the ultimate diss to her party planner. 
Another unforgettable Housewives moment happened in Season 2 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Sheree was having a meeting with Anthony, her party planner, and the meeting got heated. Sheree expressed how dissatisfied she was with Anthony's lack of progress in organizing her divorce party. The two got into a massive argument and neither backed down. Low blows were thrown around from all, including Sheree, insulting Anthony's credentials, for which he said she didn't value his time. Then Sheree uttered the ultimate diss that made housewives history. Who's going to check me, boo? Time Danielle Staub grabbed Margaret Joseph's weave after she poured water on Danielle's head. Oh, in the housewife's world, hair pulling during a fight is not anything new. There was something so messy and memorable about the fight between Danielle and Margaret during season 10 of Real Housewives of New Jersey. Margaret and Danielle never really cared for one another and were always known to make snide comments to each other. Well, that animosity built up to the point where the two got into a massive fight while on a group shopping trip. The two started going at it while in a boutique with the rest of the ladies. One thing led to another and Margaret dumped her water on Danielle, which caused her to grab Margaret by the ponytail and pull her down. That ponytail must have been strong because it did not budge. Time Leah McSweeney threw Ramona Singer's tiki torches. Although Leah joined the Real Housewives of New York cast for a brief period of time, she really added some spice to the show. One of the messiest moments of all time was when Leah got wasted for the first time on the show. During a girls' night that Ramona was hosting at her Southampton home, not only did Leah strip down to go skinny dipping with Tinsley Mortimer and Sonia, but the real juicy or chaotic part was when Leah started throwing around tiki torches in Ramona's backyard. Yes, she was literally throwing around tiki tortures, and it made for amazing television. The night didn't stop there. Leah then showed Dorinda her vagina tattoo and then threw a vibrator in a chicken casserole. Enough said. When Monique Samuels yelled at Candace Dillard Bassett at a hoedown. Common theme here is Candace getting into tiffs with the women of Real Housewives of Potomac. In a season four episode of the show, Monique, who was pregnant with her third child, got into an argument with Candace at a hoedown. During the argument, Monique was not backing down as she yelled at Candace while being held back by another woman. I will drag you pregnant and all. Yes, that line will go down in Housewives history. The time when Nene Leakes asked Kim Zolciak Beerman where her scooter was. During the season 10 reunion of Real Housewives of Atlanta, Nene and Kim got into an argument, nothing new there, about all the health ailments Kim claimed to have. Nene ranted and raved about the list of diseases Kim said she had. As Kim defended herself, Nene quickly shut her down by saying the line that made me stop in my tracks. Where is your scooter? Where is it? Where is it, bitch? Where is it? The time Nene Leakes grabbed the camera person and practically ripped their shirt off. Another very messy moment that happened on Real Housewives of Atlanta involved Nene and none other than a camera person. In a season 11 episode, Portia and Candy went into Nene's closet without her permission. When Nene saw one of the camera people follow Portia and Candy into the closet, she grabbed the camera person by their shirt and yanked them out of her way. Sheesh, I'm sure the crew did not see that coming. Brandy Glanville slapped Lisa Vanderpump and Lisa got mad. There's nothing like a playful moment turning into a cringeworthy one. In an episode from Season 5 of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, while the women were on a trip to Highland, Brandy and Lisa were joking around with one another after dinner while on a boat. During this private moment between the two, Brandy took things a little too far by slapping Lisa in the face. No, no, that was wrong. Stop it right now, was Lisa's response to Brandy's slap. I'm pretty sure Lisa was very glad once Brandy was fired from the show. When Portia Williams attacked Kenya Moore and had to be escorted off the reunion set. Sometimes some of the messiest drama takes place during a Real Housewives reunion. Kenya seemed to be instigating Portia through her use of props during the reunion. A scepter and a megaphone, which eventually led Portia to ripping the scepter out of Kenya's hands. 
that was just the start of it because eventually the two stood up to have a screaming match. As Kenya repeatedly said, get fired, Portia suddenly reached out to attack Kenya and pull her by her hair to the floor. Andy and the crew had to step in and break up the fight. To this day, I watch that clip back and my jaw drops to the floor. When Lisa Vanderpump and Kyle Richards had their final blowout over Puppygate, Puppygate dominated the storyline of Season 9 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Long story short, Dorit Kimsley read an article that she felt Lisa planted to make her look bad. The rest of the group felt the same way. When Kyle confronted Lisa, the two were besties at the time about the drama at her home. A huge fight erupted. After a lot of back and forth, Lisa's husband, Ken, got involved. He shouted a few harsh things and kicked Kyle out. Goodbye, Kyle, he shouted. And a new famous line was born. Moment when Adriana Demura punched Joanna Krupa in the face. In a season two episode of The Real Housewives in Miami, Lisa hosted a charity lingerie party. However, there wasn't much talk about charity as the focus of the night was on an article in which Carrot Sierra dished about her fellow housewives. Adriana wasn't happy about the article and Joanna tried making a point by telling her that just because it's in print, that doesn't mean it's true. After Joanna left the argument and walked away, Joanna chased after her and grabbed her, which caused Adriana to whip her body around and punch Joanna. Everything happened so fast that the only thing I do remember was thinking, oh my God, I see the devil. For the first time in my life, I see the devil. And what did the devil do? Turned around and punched me, Joanna said to the cameras on the episode. Our messiest and most drama-filled moment goes to Teresa's iconic table flip that was heard around the world. During season one finale of Real Housewives of New Jersey, Teresa and the villain of the show, Danielle Staub, got into quite the argument at dinner about rumors that were circulating. The argument went on and on, and Danielle said, pay attention, police, and Teresa saw red. Suddenly, the words that forever shook up reality TV, you were effing engaged 19 times, she then shoved her hands beneath the table and flipped it screaming prostitution whore at Danielle. I know I will never forget this one. Let me know what y'all's favorite was in the comments and thanks for watching y'all.